time for action from round five of the MSA Super Series and the Bridgestone Production cars from the Pakisa Raceway. All this action presented to you by Jaguar. Find your exhilaration. So let's see how the qualifying did pan out. We've shown the BMW top speed and it's your Humphrey on pole, Gavin Cronier, Gennaro Bonafidi, Kenny Grunderbond, Michael Steven, the reigning champion, and then his teammate, Simon Moss. Hey Gav, you've had a rock solid season so far and you're definitely up there going to be troubling the podiums, if not the first place. And uh, Pakisa here, we know the BMs run good. Yeah, we've been strong yesterday, so uh, bumpy start to the season, and uh, but we're on it now, or I'm on it. Um, we need to take the fight to the other guys, so let's, let's see what Jan and I can do. Yeah, a lot of chaos down at the coastal round, so we're back up here and we knew this was going to be the winter round. What is the tyre situation? Are they going to be ripping the rubber or what? It seems like the wear and tear on the tyres this weekend has been high. We didn't anticipate that yet. Um, it's generally been a circuit that's not too bad on tyres, so we've been managing it over, over yesterday to try and look after them. The winter round, and of course it is winter, it's going to be ripping the rubber apart today. It's going to be a fun one, but uh, you've got a new light here, you've got something new to race for, hey? Yeah, most definitely. It's not as cold as it's been here in previous years, but uh, yeah, coming here with a slightly different experience. Uh, my wife gave birth on, on Wednesday, so excited to go racing and also excited to get home. It looked a bit wild down at the coastal round. You looked like you were a little bit frustrated, maybe getting held back. Certainly in the middle of the track, you could see that, but horsepower, you're just getting beaten up pretty bad down there by the BMs. Yeah, you know, I think we had the ultimate pace, to, um, you know, once we were in front to get away uh, from Gavin, maybe not Johan. But uh, it was difficult to get past with the long straights, the BMs are a bit fast in a straight line and uh, just couldn't find a way through. And uh, Pakis is also very much uh, well suited to the BM, but uh, we're going to go out there and give it a good go. Let's get qualifying for Class T right now, and it's Graham Nathan on pole. Next to him is the MIDI from Lee Thompson, Gary Fumato, Michael Van Rooyen in the Chevy Cruze, Sean Dubini, Charles Smallberger, and then at the back of the grid, it's Munda Ndukani. Nate, after showing incredible pace and great promise at the previous rounds, it all went sideways down there, coming out of Cocabana. And what a rebuild. The team have gone crazy. Yeah, the, the team have done a superb job. Everybody involved, uh, Dean, Chris, Micro, Volkswagen Motorsport, uh, everybody that jumped in to get this motor car up and running again have done a great, great job. The car's just gone on pole, so uh, I'm over the moon right now. It's so relieving, so yeah. Tiny little bit of seat time as well in the new car as well, because it was almost a rebuild from the ground up. Tiny bit of testing at SWAT Cops before we arrived here. Yeah, we went to SWAT Cops on Wednesday morning. We got we very fortunately uh, piggybacked onto a test session that Rick Maharaj was running, and uh, he gave us a couple of laps and uh, went there, got in the car, it did the right stuff, came here and had a go, and uh, it's just been a, a success story from then. Watching action from the Bridgestone Production cars round number five. A big thanks to Jaguar for all of this action.